tell me about where you're from, your hometown. You know, it's pretty redneck. I, that's not. It's not. You know, I'm not ashamed of it. You can help, you just listen to me talk. I can't help it. So, but uh, you know, when Maryville, where we live, it's a small, smaller city. You know, you drive 15, 20 minutes one direction, you're at the mountains or the lake. Metal was definitely, you know, back when I was coming up. Anyway, you know, it wasn't around a lot. You know, and uh, yeah. Tennessee is stubborn when it comes to that <laughs> stuff. Anyway, especially being the country's capital of the world. So. Do you think there's anything unique about the metal bands that are coming from the south, or is it like you guys are influenced by the same things as the rest of the bands are? I think it's I think it's influenced by the same things as the rest of the bands, but you put your own twist on it because of where you're from. You know, we, we take more like the Pantera approach, you know, with the southern kind of vibe to it, and try to put our own little twang on it, I guess. So right, whereas right. up north, like you got Kill Switch, that Boston kind of hardcore metal scene, and they all kind of it probably influenced by a lot of the same stuff, but it's different. Yeah. So. I think it has a lot to do with where you come from. Pantera is the granddaddy. Oh guess, yeah, right? they, they, they pretty much set the bar for metal and there's a lot of people that are close, but yeah. it's hard to talk.